Adelaide was horsing around yesterday and nearly knocked over the pot of butter I was churning. Mm. Oh. That child is cursed by the devil. Mm-hmm. So I locked her in the attic with no food or water for a week. Now she'll be careful. You're soft. When my 11 lazy children woke up a full minute after daybreak, I sent those wicked beasts out into the cornfields, never to be heard from again. Betty Sue and Sally Joe sassed back yesterday. What bird brains? I thought about locking them in the attic without food or water. What? But I'm no barbarian. Instead, I put soap in their mouths, hit them with my wooden spoon, and sent them to bed without supper. Hmm. I caught Michael using our Netscape to find book reports he could copy for English class. Not. I was going to spank him. What? what? But I'm not psychotic. So instead, I took away his Nintendo Game Boy for 24 hours. Oh. You really want to punish him. Tell him he can't go to the Vanilla Ice concert. Oh, behave. Anthony threw my iPhone in the toilet this morning. Uh-oh. Yeah, I didn't want to tell him that was bad or wrong. So instead, I used positive redirection and reminded him that he's a smart, good boy. Super cool. I never say no to Valerie. It's really harmful. Yeah. Saying no is an obsolete psychological construct. Toast, Toast my goats. <laughs> Glort crashed the mainframe of our global VR system, completely wiping out our family's finances. Clearly, I caused him to behave this way, so as punishment, I locked myself in our space attic for a week with no space food and no space water. Beep boop, beep boop, boop boop, beep 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 boop. Anthony, can you say the break womb? No!